Hey guys, another uh, Trainer Confidential. So a week out, well, a week after the Olympia, lots going on. Uh, Smoke's starting to clear. Yep, the smoke is starting to clear. Uh, uh, Samson's living it up. Perfect, uh, perfect uh, uh, image for uh, Mr. Olympia. Uh, well deserved. Uh, you know, uh, talking about coaching, which is what we're going to talk about today. Actually, tonight. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, I have no complaints. You know, people are complaining about. Uh, you know, well, he's not with Milos no more, and what does his wife know about coaching? Well, she did a damn good job. She did a damn good job. So, you know, she's got one client, and that's Samson. Yeah, so kudos to Samson's wife. Uh, I mean, that that's just awesome that, you know, those two can do that. And, uh, yeah, so uh, it, was a, it was a success. So, it you know, <laughs> there's nothing yeah, else they, to say they, about they, that. Like I say, they, they, have to, they don't have to split the winnings with a coach. <laughs> nope, exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, in other news, uh, we just had the uh, Brazilian uh, muscle contest. So, uh, Dino won that, which is which is good on his part. So, he's, you know, a week away from the Olympia, or a week after the Olympia. Right, right. Uh, so, he's qualified for next year's Olympia because he pulled fourth this year. So, you know, top three only gets, uh, gets uh, you know. Right, high. right, right. So, good move on his part. Uh, I well think so. It was not as easy as a win as, uh, you know, it should have been. Uh, you know, the guy, the top three were, were you know, they were they were uh, pretty close to Dino. So it was not easy for Dino, but he took it. So he's got the year. I don't know what was up with Dino this year. Well, you know, uh, for this Olympia, I'm not sure what was up with him. Uh, you know, he just wasn't, he was, just wasn't 100%, you know. Uh, like he normally is but at any rate he's got this year to figure it out and uh, I don't know what his plans are whether he's going to do some more shows whether he's going to do the Arnold he probably should do the Arnold because the money's there now especially this next year purse is a lot bigger yeah but you know but if 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 this last show was close I, I'm having a feeling that this Arnold is going to be pretty stacked so I think it's so going he's going to be definitely gonna have to bring his a game as a matter of fact, this is off topic, and I wasn't planning on this, but since we're on the topic of the Arnold, uh, uh, Vissers was asked what his uh, what his next move is, and all he did was he posted a video of him him just didn't say nothing, just with a look on his face, black and white picture, and he had the Terminator music playing. So I'm assuming that means Arnold is the next move for him. So <laughs> I'm I'm yeah I'm kind of interested to see what Derek's going to do here. Yeah yeah. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I, I, I have no doubt in my mind he's gonna do the Arnold. Why wouldn't he? Uh and I I I Hottie will too. Uh so anyway, I want to jump right into uh our topic for tonight. And that right. really it's 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 Nick Walker, but to go deeper, it's Matt Jensen. So uh earlier today, well, about this this morning, uh Quentin Beastwood came out with a video. I'm gonna I'm gonna share it. I'm not gonna play it, but Right. Uh, if you guys get a chance, I would go ahead and uh, check them out, listen to it. Um, oh, yeah, where are we going here? So this is the video here. So anyway, what basically to sum up the video is uh, this is one of Matt Jensen's clients, right? Well, it used to be. Uh, Quentin fired him. So uh, what had happened, we all know what he looked like in the New, New York Pro. You know, he, he pulled, what, sixth place or something like that uh, okay. in the New York Pro. He was not on. He was smaller. He just, he you know, two years ago, and he says the same thing, he was more shredded. He was bigger. Uh, he just had a better package. Now, what he was told by Matt Jensen was the reason why he failed was because of fake gear. So, that being said, now we go back to Nick Walker, okay? Nick Walker, allegedly, he hasn't said this or nothing, but the word on the street is that, that uh, fake gear for him, too, and that's why he his body didn't respond, right? So, let's go a step further. Let's look at Sean Clarita, another, cl another uh, client. Well, this year was not his best year, obviously. He was way smaller. Uh, he was flat, you know, on stage. 
He just did not come in with the physique that we all know Sean Claridi has got. He just didn't. So this all boils back to Matt Jensen. Now, what Quentin was talking about, about Matt Jensen, was there's multiple athletes that he has said this to about, you know, oh, it's because of fake gear, right? Well, Matt Jensen had him uh, on two hours of cardio. So basically, when Quentin got with Matt, you know, because, you know, Matt Jensen, he's he's pretty big and everybody knows him. And he's got a lot of freaks that, that have uh, done real well under his guidance, right? Well, oh, OK, yeah. the, the word freaks is where I'm getting at with this is, uh, you know, you take a genetic freak and, you know, you have, you know, an average coach coach that that freak you know genetics alone is going to make that person better right uh for the most part right so that being said uh uh the allegations from quentin was that matt is just not he 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 wouldn't return uh messages uh he was kind of gaslighting uh you know he uh you know after quentin lost that show uh he you know, he just got excuse after excuse. Well, before that, two years ago, Quentin was 20 pounds heavier and shredded. Well, we all know what, what Quentin looks like. I mean, he's a, you know, I would I would classify Quentin as uh, in between Samson and uh, uh, Jack. I mean, he's got that kind of physique. He's a 300 pound plus dude, uh, you know, nice, real nice guy too. Uh, and he he's not known for making videos like that and saying things like that he just that's just not him you know he's not a he's not a gossiper he don't talk crap he don't do nothing like that so going back to nick walker you know nick walker is it he's pretty much you could say he's a robot i mean he is a guy that doesn't miss a meal he trains extremely hard he is on point on everything that he does and we know that because he documents all of it you can watch it on youtube you know so to say that, you know, and, and he's getting a lot of flack. I mean, if you if you look at any of his Instagram posts and you go into the comments, the comments are just loaded with Nick Talker, you know, just just downgrading yeah. him. Like, yeah. you know, people yeah. don't think that Nick's going to come back. Like, he's done. He, he's, uh, you know, to throw an excuse out there like, you know, I just, uh, my body wasn't responding. That's why I'm not going to do the Olympia. That's just not a valid excuse, right? So why wasn't his body? where it was supposed to be, you know, and Nick is a freak. He is a genetic freak. Let's, 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 let's back up just a minute here and let's talk about, um, um, the, the, the prep coach, some, some of these prep coaches, you know, there's, there's, there's good money in that. You know what yeah. I mean? And, yes. you know, I mean, yeah, I'm a gym owner, but I'm a trainer first and foremost and stuff. I do a little bit of prep coaching and stuff, but the thing about it is this, I know that, you know, I, I think, Sometimes I, I I get some people and they've had some of these these high end coaches and I think they're just I think they're just taking on too many people. That could be it too. Yeah. I I, I you know I mean and the thing about it is this I mean you know I do a lot of uh I do a lot of one on one you know and that, that's that's what I like to do and stuff that's my wheelhouse you know and I'm pretty I'm fairly booked so and I like doing prep coaching and stuff I I, I you know it's it's like a level up you know what I mean. And uh, but the thing about this, I know that I, I there's I I know the threshold to where you know it's like okay I'll take about three, you know maybe four but after that that's that's about that's about it for me you know what I mean because I got other things I've got to do but some of these guys yeah they go into the prep coaching and they may have like you know forty fifty sixty you know clients you know I mean. Yeah, that's it's good money and stuff, but you got to you you got to deliver on it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know, and you know it's it's it, and since you're not there to actually see them, you know, when when they want to see you, they need to see you. You know, you have to be there. You know, and it to me it sounds you know just listening to the, the what what this one competitor was talking about. But I think this guy may have too many too many clients. I'm glad you said that because I, I can't recall the, the coach's name, but he is a pretty popular coach. He's been coaching for a long time. Uh, actually, uh, 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 it was on Valiant's uh, 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 YouTube. Um, but anyway, this coach was saying uh, that, that Matt, he actually had to threaten Matt at one point because Matt was uh, uh, messaging his clients, trying to steal clients. 
<laughs> and he's not the only one that has said this. I've, 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 yeah. So, I've, so going back to what you just said about too many clients, that makes sense. That just makes sense because I mean, if, if the guy's going out there, cause yeah, there is good money in it. And uh, you know, and, and to have that many clients, that many top level athletes, you know, you, that takes a lot of time. Yeah, you know, and the thing about it, like I said, you know, my 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 one on one training, my clientele is is pretty full. But the thing about it is this: I mean, that's you know, they're here, and and it's 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 pretty easy to go through. You know what I mean? Because they're here, the whole nine yards. You know, and it doesn't require as much. You talk about prep coaching that requires a lot, especially when their body yeah. starts changing. You know, and you need to make decisions like right then. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not not next Tuesday. Or so, something like that. Going back to Walker, like, I mean, you know, when you have a coach, like, you're my coach, you know, I, I fully rely on you. You're my second set of eyes, you know, uh, you know, you, you rely on your coach. You believe what they say. You do what they say. You know, you rely on them. You got to trust them. There, there's a trust factor there. So, in Nick Walker's case, you know, I mean, what he, uh, what was it, a week before the Olympia or something like that, it was somewhere around there, he, you know, he didn't even say much about it, but Matt Jensen said he's not going to do the Olympia. Well, at what point, I mean, prepping for the Olympia, did he not know? He should have known months before, like, if it was fake gear or whatever the reason was. Like, something's off here, right? Something's not working. Why was it at the mm. last minute? Yeah, I mean, because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, because here, here's, here's my mindset. You know, unless my sight has gone down, you know what I mean? I'm using the same site, you know, yeah. Yeah. you know, and, and I will use a site for years, you know, and I, I never recall ever getting fake gear. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's probably using the same site that he always uses, you know, and all of a sudden they decide, you know, that they're going to dish out fake gear. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it, it don't add up. It don't add up, you know. And, and and these 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 sites, they tend to want to take care of you. You know what I mean? Yes. You, you know, I mean, I, I I my 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 present site, I've been with them about almost six years. You know, and so yeah. I'm getting discounts the whole nine yards. It's like yeah. shopping on Amazon and stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's not like you know we're 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 you're you're in the locker room and you you got that third person, the CD person, or the person that's dealing with roids and stuff. Why he would be want to be dealing with something like that is beyond me, especially when yeah. you can go online and, and and you can find some pretty rep reputable sites. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a mystery to us, guy. I think it's just gonna continue to be a mystery to us. Oh, but, when, but when, and I'm when, not I'm not out and out accusing the train of having too many uh, the prep coaches having too many clients, but that's my next that begs the question. You know, hey, how many people are you? You know, how many people are you? Do you have? To I didn't drop? think of that. Honestly, that wasn't that wasn't my first thought, and I'm glad you mentioned that because it, it is making me think, you know, along those lines. Because Matt Jensen, he's been he's been in the game for quite a while, you know. Uh, and but listening to Quentin and Quentin saying that he has said the same thing to a lot of other athletes, you know, this is why you didn't win. Uh, just you know, it just uh, I, I I don't buy that. I don't I just don't buy that. So if it's not that, then what is it? Is it that you're not, you don't have the time to pay attention to your athlete there? Uh, you're not monitoring them enough? I mean, I, what what is it? Because in Nick but, Walker's case, if something was going on with his body, that should have been caught, you know, a month and a half ago. Um, and, and another question I think that needs to be asked, what's, what's changed since two years ago? Because yeah. they were rocking and rolling for a while. And so so what, what's changed? What has yeah. happened? Yeah, exactly. What, what's been the seismic shift, you know, that that that's that's got them to this point right here? Well, you know, I mean, every trainer's got a formula, you know, and and it works well for some people. Some people it don't, and the ones that don't, you modify it, right? And that's that's where you come in, and that's where you know you're 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 you know you're you're watching them the whole time, and okay, well, we need to change this and this and this. So in Nick Walker's case, yeah, they they've been together. I mean, they're they're good friends. So, uh, you know, Nick fully relies on 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 Matt Je Matt so uh in his case you know he believes him well and you're right he's been on the top for so long or well close to the top he's been a top you know one of the best in the world right yeah so what has changed is it is it that you know they did something different 
on their prep, which is has to be what it was. Because you and I both know he's consistent as hell. You yeah. know? Yeah. So there had to be, you know, I mean, it's a hypothesis, but was there an inconsistency somewhere? Did they decide, did they decide to try a wrinkle that, that didn't work out? And I'm thinking you know, that's know. what it is. And yeah. see, in my mind, I mean, because Nick, Nick's taken all the, he's taken all the guff for it. You know, nobody's talking about his coach. It's all Nick. And, and he's taking a lot of it. I wouldn't want to read the comments if it was about me. I mean, you know, he's, he's still pushing, he's still doing what he's going to do and, and all that. But, uh, you know, nobody is looking at the fact at his coach or they're not looking at his coach. And that's the reason why Quentin came out with that video, uh, is because of that reason, you know, he's cause you know, they're all friends. They, they know each other, you know, they're, they're competitors. We all, you know, we're all, we all have that com camaraderie, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. There's some rivals there mm -hmm. has to be in sports, you know, it makes it funner for the people watching it and all that. But when it gets down to it, we have we all have a camaraderie with it with each other. You know, it's you know, we're, we're all bodybuilders. Right. You know, and so. But I mean, people are unfollowing Nick because of this, you know, and, and just saying some pretty mean things uh, online to him, you know, and, you know, I just think and, and I was buying into it at first until I heard what uh, Quentin said. I'm just like, yeah, I mean, who would pull out of a show like that a week before? Uh, with no excuse other than that, you know, your body's not ready. Like that's, you know, that, so you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just not an excuse in my mind uh, for his fans. Cause he's lost a lot of fans because of, he's lost a lot of fans because of this. Uh, so, which, 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 you know, in, in some ways is probably responsible for some of his livelihood. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. You yeah, your fan base. I mean, you cannot discipline. Yeah, yeah, you're human, and you know you got to have a life too. But you know, you you developed this fan base over years and stuff. You know, and they're behind you, and 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 um, you know, they are responsible for a lot of your livelihood. For sure, for sure. So, anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there, you guys. Uh, uh, if you get a chance, watch the video. Let us know what you think. I mean, what. What was your thought? I mean, uh, did you, uh, I don't know, what, what do you guys think about it? That's We want to know that. So, I mean, I got my thoughts, you know, and I, and, and I don't think we're ever going to really know, but. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm along with you on that one. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure it, it, it may be something, I don't know, four or five years. It's just like a lot of stuff that's bubbling out about pumping iron, you know, is 40 yeah. years later, 50 years, it's finally starting to come out. Who knows? It may be a few years or, or you know. But I, I do know one thing. Nick Walker is not Nick Talker. Yes, he talks some shit. He does. He's calm. He does. That's fine. But you there's know. nothing wrong with that. That man is a hardworking bodybuilder. He's like a robot. Yeah. So what happened there? You know, that, that's that's the question. What happened there? It's not because of what Nick Walker did. I, I'm 100% sure of that. Well, 95% sure of that. Yeah. I think it has something to do with the coaching. And at what point, you know, I, you know, I'm sure Nick's going to see the videos because there's this is not the only video that's coming out about this topic. Uh, there's other ones, too. RX Muscle has has done several videos about it. Uh Antoine uh, Valiant has a video about Quentin did his video about it. Uh, there's probably more than that. So it's going to get back to Jensen. Maybe he'll respond. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean. But, but you, you, you absolutely, I mean, all you got to do, you know, I mean, you can't, you take a look at the snapshot of the present and you see what's going on, but you know, all you got to do is just go back to some, just two years and just see what his, 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 his body of work has been, you know what I mean? And yeah, man, yeah, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. Nick's up I there. Mean, I mean, he's right now, he's like, he's a hall of famer in the making. I mean, come on. Every prep is different, but not that much different. You know, I mean, yeah, I, it, this it, is, this yeah, is the yeah, Olympia. It, 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 but you're, ta you're talking about a person I've never really seen Nick Walker off. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. So you know when you when you say well his physique is off, I mean I'm, I'm well, what what catastrophic yeah, what, what catastrophe mean? has happened? You know <laughs> the guy is too consistent. Yeah, and then I can understand if he wasn't like really consistent. Yeah. He's like some people are just not. Con he's like one way one one minute, one way the next minute. 
then we'd be like, okay, well, you know, it's hit and miss with him anyway. So yeah, yeah, it just That's missed. He just missed case. it this time. But yeah. Nick Walker doesn't miss. <laughs> so, but but the you thing know? is, you know, this this year's Olympia was tough, and he knew that. So maybe they tried something different for this prep just to get a little tighter, a little fuller. You know, I mean, with Nick Walker's physique, he's like, you know, to me, he's like, uh, he's like uh, Derek's physique. Like, really, there's not much he can change. He's pretty much maxed out uh, as long as he can keep that. Yeah, as far as size in. goes, I mean, don't. I yeah. mean, my. What can he bring up? So, so what could change? Just come back sharp. Just be consistent. Just, just do what you do and, and uh, go from there. And anything beyond that, you know, that's just genetics. I mean, you know, some people just have a better shape. That's all. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. All you can do is to bring the best package that you can bring. And, and, and the judges like your package better than they like the next guy's package. That's right. That's right. That's all you can do. That's basically it. That's right. So anyway, that's all we got for tonight. I just wanted to throw that out there, uh, see what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next Good week. Good thoughts, man. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Yep.